Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey. So today we're going to be doing a bit of pumpkin carving. Put the pumpkins there. And at the same time, we're going to be answering the questions you guys have asked. You nice and cozy. <laughs> Back in. I decided to change my hair. I've been blonde for God, now, yeah. literally since like secondary school. And I was like, after the wedding, I just want change. I want to do something different. Like my hair's been bleached so bad. Like the condition of it was bad, I mean. So I was like, oh, I just need to go back a little bit darker. And here we are. And I'm loving it. So yeah, I'm glad I did it. Who said I love you first? Ooh. <laughs> Yes. Who is it? <laughs> it was me indeed. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a little bit difficult. <laughs> I keep doing the wrong thing. Favourite takeaway? Oh. Thai. One place to go to, it'd be Five Guys. 100%. Even though it's a bit expensive for the burgers. I mean, you do get a hefty burger. I love the smell of it. Are you going to do um, pumpkin soup? What no, do you normally do? Mum's going to do that. So once we finish these designs, put in the comment section below which one's better. I'm going to go for a random one this time. Not I actually came across our old ones last year. Oh, well good. I need some inspo. So if you could live in any country, where would it be? I don't really have like a favourite. I'd probably say Greece because of where we got married. You wouldn't do Italy or nothing like that? Oh, I don't know. It's a hard one. Yeah, it would have to be between Italy or Greece, really. What about you? Guess. You know. <laughs> Japan. Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, if you don't know, Curtis is a massive Aye. anime Japanese lover. I'm not really into all the cosplay kind of stuff, but I am an anime watcher. And it is my dream one day to go to Tokyo. If you haven't met him already, this is the little man here, Ajax. <laughs> what is your favourite dog breed? Ooh. Buddy's next to you, don't offend him. <laughs> <laughs> if I was to choose one dog breed, a Rottweiler. Let me say like Labrador or something. I mean, I do love Buddy, I think he's cute. Oh yeah, he's yeah, sweet. no one can replace Buddy. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna say Sausage Dog. How many kids do you want? Uh, I don't feel like I can answer that because we haven't had kids yet. So I'm not really sure what it's going to be like or what we're going to be like mm. when we have kids, but I'd like maybe two or three. Yeah, I would say the same as well. If we have a boy and a girl, then perfect too. <laughs> if we have two boys, then I would go for the third to maybe have a girl. But if we had two girls, I'm sticking at two girls <laughs> because I am not going for the third one. <laughs> because if I have another girl, not a chance. Stuck. Future career plans for you both. I want to grow my makeup business. I'm a working makeup artist. I have been working within the makeup industry for very many years. To pursue my own business. You just want to be self-employed? Yeah, I just want to yeah. like work for myself. Make people, people feel pretty and for occasion focus more of my time and energy. What about you? So I want to become a dog handler and it's something I want to um, definitely pursue. I just ruined the lid of mine. When did you know Curtis was the one for you? <laughs> um, it took a while. <laughs> I don't actually know the at moment, but I remember the moment that I knew I really liked you. Right, when you first actually started learning how to yeah, drive. my little Volkswagen Polo. Yeah, Betty. Just looking over at you and being like, oh my God, why do I fancy you? <laughs> <laughs> and from then on, 
he gave the relationship a go. It just blossomed and here we are. Married. Married. Wifey. <laughs> Why abroad instead of the UK? Oh, okay, good one. We did originally look at the UK. Every time I was looking at a venue, I just wasn't falling in love. Yeah, not only that, it's money as well. It's just too expensive. It's like you would pay a certain amount and you wasn't really getting much for your money. If we were to do it in the UK, more like a, a rustic barn Vintage, kind of vibe. Yeah. Abroad, we kind of thought more bright and fresh. Just thought in comparison to UK versus being abroad, at this point, it was a lot more affordable. You get more for your money. Yeah. The scenes, you're having blue skies, blue sea. So yeah, I definitely would say if you're thinking of doing a wedding, either in the UK or abroad, 100% abroad, 100%. Don't get me wrong, it is stressful at times because oh. it is abroad, of all the documents, the prices. Communication, it's yeah. difficult. You can go to the venue and speak to them. You're having to arrange Skype calls or just messaging, stupid o'clock at night, and it's hard to see if they're understanding what you're saying because there's a language barrier. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, the wedding turned out to be the most amazing and most good, yeah. perfect day. So, previously before we got married, we did go to a wedding. Big up Dan and Alina because they had their wedding in Cyprus. Cyprus, yeah. So that was a good experience That as gave well. us the inspo and an insight yeah. to what it would be like getting married abroad. Went through COVID, no one had been abroad. We couldn't yeah. do, like we couldn't do what we wanted to do. So we thought, why not? Let's get everyone together, all of our family together for the first time for a few years on a holiday and a wedding. And let's just celebrate all together. And do you know what? It was the best decision. Mm -hmm. I'm still on cloud nine from it all. I'll tell you what, it went like that. Yes. I still feel like I'm yeah. dreaming. Like, I think about it, I'm like, did that actually happen? Or was I actually dreaming? And I still can't, <laughs> I still can't comprehend it. <laughs> How many dresses did you try until you found the one? My dress was actually the first dress. Did you know that? Was it? Yeah. So it was the first, I went to multiple wedding dress shops, but mm. I went to one in particular that was just like a generic, wedding dress shop and I just tried them on for kind of like an idea that was really early on like just as we got engaged I went to Aurora Bride tried on my first dress which is my wedding dress and I loved it very like open-minded I like to kind of keep my options open I still have like my appointments at the other one so I'll just like see how <laughs> see how um I get on and then I found out the price of the dress and I was like, hold your horses. Definitely not, that's really expensive. I'm gonna have a look around. Just tried on other dresses and for some reason that dress was just always in my head. Every single time I tried on a dress, I kept thinking of the other one. They'd be like, what is it missing? And I'm like, that dress. Then you have the opportunity to name it as well. It was a brand new dress of like a collection from a designer. No one had bought the dress yet. They said, if you buy your dress, if you buy this dress, if you order it, the dress will, the, the dress, the, the, the dress, dress. <laughs> <laughs> will be named after you. So anyway, I went away, came back. As I ordered my dress, someone had just bought it before me. So it was named some, by someone else, but that's okay. Probably would say like 15 dresses. I tried on in total, but that was the first dress I tried on. The pumpkin's done. Okay, I feel like you don't think when you talk. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm, little baby. To a little Halloween get together, family get together. We're just gonna have some food, play some games, and enjoy the evening. <laughs>
Devil's Church. And then we're gonna head over there. It's probably the most exciting part of the year for me because it rolls on to October and then you fully know in November Christmas time's coming up. So all the Christmas tunes are coming on, Christmas markets. I'm like a little kid when it comes to Christmas. <laughs> One eternity later. Just arrived at the in-laws house. Hi. <laughs> Dressed as Blade, You're dressed as Black Widow. I'm a prisoner. <laughs> Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she does everything so good, bless her. And the pumpkin pie as well. Well, we're gonna end the vlog here. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice weekend with us. Get to like and subscribe, yeah. and we will see you in the next video.